we received this bag of 60 little hearts and we started using them. We would give one heart to the patient. This is BBC Radio Scotland. We're sorry that we can't bring you our normal programme just now, but stay with us as we try to get it back as soon as we possibly can. This is BBC Radio Scotland. We're still trying to get your normal programme back, so please don't go away. This is BBC Radio Scotland. We're sorry that we can't bring you our normal programme just now, but stay with us as we try to get it back as soon as we possibly can. This is BBC Radio Scotland. We're sorry that we can't bring you our normal programme just now, but stay with us as we try to get it back as soon as we possibly can. I feel like they're not getting the respect that they've garnered and deserve. You know, they always say, don't meet your hero, um, but he didn't disappoint. And he was just so nice because we're so used to seeing him, for me anyway, I'm match the day, you know. Hey, Alan hey. You're tuned to Off The Ball, the most petty and ill-informed sports programme on radio. Football, frivolity and birthday felicitations. I'm Stuart Cosgrove, he's Tam Cowan and you're tuned to the odd couple of Scottish football. Yes indeed, welcome to Off The Ball, we're back with a big, big warning. Never listen to Radio 5 Live by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> we do apologise to uh, listeners who'd been forced to listen to 5 Live there uh, for the best part of an hour, but we are back. Uh, there was a, a small incident at BBC Scotland. Everybody is safe. Uh, I feel duty-bound to say that right away. There will be the, the family and friends of loved ones who work at the BBC in Glasgow tuned in uh, now to the station. Everybody is fine, but we would like to know because <laughs> we would, it was the toaster went <laughs> off we, we don't know no. what it was but we would like to know because this is off the ball so what do you reckon 80295 in the text you can email off the ball at bbc.co.uk what could have caused a fire today at BBC <laughs> Scotland maybe after the result at Parky yesterday Chick Young's firework display <laughs> got a wee bit out of hand and I hasten to add only because his team St Mirren won at Celtic Park for the first First time in 31 years Aye. before you take that any other way. So if you've got any ideas, ladies and gents, uh, what could have caused a wee fire at BBC Scotland? Fill your boots with that. But we are back on air anyway, Stuart. That's the good news. There was a, a small uh, fire to a generator at uh, Pacific Key. We were all taken out, so our apologies uh, for the slow start to the show. We're an hour and a half late almost starting the show. Uh, and our colleagues at Radio 5 Live deputised for us, so thank to them, Tom. But can I just say this? The head fireman that I was talking to said, Stuart, he said, I'm a Celtic fan. I'm going in there. Don't stop me. <laughs> but alas, it wasn't the disco inferno 